Hi, I'm Evan with Granite Fuel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you one of our new system designs that we have in our shop. This is actually a uh, custom design system we've done for a wastewater treatment plant in California. Uh, it's a waste to energy application. Now, due to the space constraints, we've actually consolidated four different subsystems onto a single skid, such that it'll still fit within their facility. Uh, the first subsystem we have is an H2S removal system. So there's a lead leg valve skid here on the right. This is actually gonna send gas to a couple of H2S removal vessels that sit off skid. Once the H2S is removed, the gas comes back to the skid where we send it to a couple of low pressure blowers here. These are regenerative type blowers. Now they're gonna increase the pressure of the gas just to make sure that we can send the gas through the rest of the process and still hit a required discharge pressure. Once we've boosted the gas, it comes here. This is our bulk dehydration system. So there's actually a, an air cooler that's gonna get ducted to the outside of the building. Uh, two larger shell and tube heat exchangers here where we're gonna cool the gas down to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit and then knock out the water. Now, once we've removed the hydrogen sulfide, once we've boosted the gas and taken out the water, we actually send it here. So this is our temperature swing absorption system and this is a proprietary granite fuel design. Rather than using a, a static activated carbon media, which you're gonna have to change out, you know, frequently, quarterly, sometimes even monthly, uh, this is actually a regenerative type system. So inside these vessels is a polymer based media. Uh, that media is expected to last anywhere from five to 10 years. Now, as one vessel processes gas, the other vessel is actually being regenerated with hot air. The system itself is fully automated, so swapping between those vessels is totally uh, without user intervention. The media itself is gonna capture anywhere from 99% of your siloxanes, and it's gonna allow you to save tens of thousands of dollars in your operation and still protect your engine downstream from siloxanes or anything else that might cause it damage.